Right, so I'm in uh, Ontario, California at the TA on the east side, parked in the, the back parking lot. I just drove here from Tolleson, Arizona. Uh, I'm kind of running out of time on my 14 because my 14 hour clock because I had to go take this trailer in to get a tire repaired. And, and having trailers, they have problems, is a, a pet peeve of mine. Uh, I'm coming from the military, uh, from the Marine Corps, we're expected to be responsible. I've been taught to be disciplined. Uh, whereas a lot of these other people that are out here that are civilians have never learned that kind of discipline. So I expect a lot out of people and I'm really disappointed that that I don't see that being being out of the military uh, when I first got out I wasn't so so disciplined you know I, I got out and I wanted to be free I wanted to be like everybody else and just live lives like most people do but that just never happened uh, I was always my all my anxiety that I've developed I think is is basically based on the military you know I'm a if you have one little tiny discrepancy on something, like on your uniform, uh, you're you're gonna be in trouble. Out here, people just don't care about those little things. They just don't matter. But as a truck driver, uh, it's just, there's so much more responsibility here that I'm you no know, expected to do. I don't have a somebody over my head, you know, yelling over my shoulder. I've got to be the one to to discipline myself and keep myself in check. Uh, I don't, you know, I, I get pretty cranky about, about things, you know, I'm really, I follow the rules, like, I dot my T's, I cross my I's, you know, I don't, I don't mess around when I, when it comes to work, and I was never that way when I was in the military, but since I got out of the military, I'm like 10 times more responsible and disciplined than than anything else and and i just don't fit into a category with anybody else they all just a bunch of slackers to me even even guys that are twice my age that could be my grandfather i see are are lacking in responsibility and discipline they said they've been out here for 30 years so i say they're completely complacent they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing and i'm i'm this young guy and i can't I can't stand that. I came out here and I said, I'm gonna do this job, I'm gonna do it right, I'm gonna be successful. I don't care about the money. I don't care about you know, what I look like, if my truck looks pretty, or any kind of ego. I'm to, I wanna be out here to do the job and do it right, and be, uh, be the professional that we're supposed to be. And you know what, I think I've nailed it. I think I'm, I'm really good at doing that, and I have a, a mindset that really gets me in the position to be that successful at this job. But it doesn't, it doesn't pay. It doesn't pay off sometimes to do that. Uh, now in today's, today's world, as I've learned when I was uh, taking classes through the University of Phoenix uh, and the business communications, uh, all the surveys that have been done by professionals, and this comes from the textbooks at the university that a uh, majority of the really successful people nowadays all lied and cheated to get their way into those positions. And that's kind of what happens out here. People are just cheating. They're, they're cutting corners and cheating to get ahead of other people. And it's not, that's not fair. That's not cool. You know, for us, for those people who work hard and do the right thing, you know, they just don't get the credit that they deserve over other people who just don't break the rules and they end up getting more. I think we could see that in, in a lot of different ways uh, in, in our society where those who don't, people who don't want to work are gaining benefits and having an easier time living than those who, who legitimately put in, you know, a lot of elbow grease and hard work into what they do and they end up getting screwed over in the end. It's, it's almost easier to live that low, uh, low income poverty lifestyle and reap the benefits from it and have an easier life than it is to try to be middle class and work your way up the ladder. I think we're, 
things are going, it's people are just giving up on it. And they're just like, screw it. I'm just gonna you know, cheat like everybody else. You know what? I'm not gonna do that. I am not gonna give up on working hard because I know, I know it within me. I can't go on and I can't sleep at night knowing that I, I did something wrong or no, I'm not gonna screw anybody else over. I'm looking at myself and at my, my worth and my value. I'm not comparing myself to anybody else. I just get myself into a position to know that I, I achieved this, this level. And that's, that's something I, that I'm gonna know. It's between, I don't know if anybody believes in God. I'm not sure of God. I'm not even gonna get into religion or, or you no know, beliefs and stuff like that. But I think the concept makes sense because it's it's between me and God or no when the day I die I'll know that I did the right thing and that I was honest and justified in my actions and that I didn't screw anybody over so that the, when the day I die I can rest in peace for those other people that don't they don't that are cheating they're gonna they're gonna go to their death they're gonna take that to the grave and never say anything they're gonna die with that on their on their conscious conscience and and that's something I don't want so I'm not gonna fall into that into that that whole I'm not gonna fall into that kind of category of, of person to screw other people over I'm always gonna be a good legitimate person and do the right thing and I'm always encouraging other people to do that too you know it's like like check your vehicle make sure it's your it, you're driving a safe vehicle down the road check yourself make sure that you got the right mindset to get behind the wheel before you drive you know, and, and check other people. When you see somebody doing something that they shouldn't be doing, so speak up, say something. Don't just shut up and just, they're just gonna continue doing something. As, as long as people you know, people think they're gonna get away with it, and they do, they're just gonna continue doing that. And it's gonna grow, it's gonna be viral. We don't need that. We need people in this community that are gonna step up and set the example and lead others. That's, if nobody does that, then all it is is gonna be a bunch of crap like look at our presidency like who's who's running for president now the, all the corruption in politics it, we need to step up we need to say something use our use our voice try not to curse but you know i just i come down the road and i see so much bad behavior you know people say that they're good but when they get behind the wheel they get in that position of power it seems like their true colors are showing you know, I don't, I don't, I don't trust people. No way. When I see what they, how they behave on the road. It's, it's, if that's the way that they do, they drive their vehicles and that's, I bet you there's a lot of other things that they do in their life. Like for instance, there are three categories of drivers, high risk, moderate risk, and low risk. And, uh, high risk drivers will, it will speed, not use their turn signals. There's a bunch of things that identify high risk drivers. You can find that in the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration's website. Well, it's a Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration, FMCSA, NHTSA, uh, all your state's Department of Transportation websites. They all, they all define and classify all these types of behaviors. And they also list like accidents, injuries, fatalities, based on on conditions of those things like speeding distracted driving following too close all those things are on the websites they're all categories and i can see those things on the road and how people behave so you can see kind of how people live their lives and their lifestyles based on how they drive the types of vehicles that they choose all that stuff and as a professional i recognize those things and i'm actually able to take extra precautions to identify you know hazardous areas where other people are just completely oblivious to it. They have no idea what's going down. Especially when you get that look like, what the hell? They have that look in their face, they don't know what's going on. It's because they don't. They don't have a clue. They don't know what's going on. They're confused and they show it on their face. You can see it when you look in your mirror and you look at, right at the driver and they, they look on their face like they got that hand up, that WTF hand. Like they don't know what's going on. If they were paying attention, they would know it and they wouldn't have that look on their face. They wouldn't be driving the way that they're driving. Just, I'm just so disappointed in, in society and especially talking to people that are younger, the younger generation. These are the ones that are growing up to fulfill the positions of our, our elderly people that have worked hard to build a, a, a good quality nation. And it just seems like everything's going to crap. And if that's who I've got to work with and that's who's gonna be running things when I get older, you know what? 
maybe I don't want to be here. I'm going to look for other options and places to go that that I don't want to be. So I'm looking to leave the country because I don't want to live with the people here. I just don't fit in to discipline. I'm going to go on my own and go live my own life. And I don't want to be a part of part of everything. But if I drive this truck, it makes you feel better saying, you know, I'm helping contribute to society. But if I'm helping contribute to some some BS terrible corrupt society then you know what maybe i don't want to drive this truck and do that i don't know it's a really really tough thing to to try to to work with and deal with and to go through your head like what what purpose am i causing what are the causes and effect of my actions in my life from the moment i wake up to to the time that i go to sleep and all the things i did throughout the day did i contribute to something good did I help people? Am I just contributing to myself? Did I did I do a good job? Am I am I am I falling behind? I don't know. It's it's just me in this truck. I don't get any feedback from any outside thing. I'm just in this truck, and the way people treat me in this truck, it just seems like you know what? I'm not that way. I just think everybody has a really shitty attitude, and and I get a bunch of crap just because I'm in a in a truck and I'm in their way, and they don't care. They just only care about themselves. And I don't want to contribute to people like that. I don't want to be a part of it. And uh, I really like other people that are that are pointing that out. Like people, they say they're just being bitchy. Like you know who I'm talking about. But you know, if they're really they're pointing something out. And for those who know, uh, it makes a lot of sense. And for those who don't, it's uh, it just seems like the, we're complaining. But I think it's a really serious issue, and and it's just not being faced because it's. It's really identifying those people who are who are kind of the problem, you know. But we're all growing as people. Maybe one day they'll turn the corner and they'll realize that, you know, that they can be better than they are or that they don't know. I think that and that's the number one thing. You just got to tell yourself, I don't know. Ask the questions and get the answers, the factual answers. Question everything. Trust nothing. Anyway, that's enough said. I think I'm done. See ya.